Rice is a fundamentally important component of the Persian kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a traditional Persian rice using the dampocht technique, which is basically a steaming technique. And the end result is a beautiful, fluffy and delicious rice. Here I've got my basmati rice, which I've soaked. Now, you want to soak it for at least two hours, ideally overnight. And I always soak it with salt so that the grains don't break easily. So here I've got my water, which has been boiling away. And to it, I'm going to be adding some vegetable oil. I'm also going to season my water with salt. This will ensure that my rice has beautiful flavor. And the key is to add your rinsed rice once the water comes to a boil. At this point, it's really important to watch over the rice because once the water comes to a boil again, you need to wait about two to three minutes before we drain the rice. You'll see that the rice kernels are slowly starting to come to the surface. This is my sign that we're nearly getting there. As you can see, the water is starting to boil and in the next two to three minutes, you're gonna see the rice grains starting to come to the surface. When it starts to all come to the surface, that's the time to drain the rice. When the rice comes to the surface like this, that's when we know it's time to drain. A quick tip is when you drain your rice, make sure not to rinse it as to not remove all of the flavor from the rice. Now I'm gonna return the pot back and I'm now ready to start layering the rice. When we prepare Persian rice, it's really important to prepare tadik. Tadik is basically the crispy part at the bottom of the pot. Now you can make it either with only rice or you can make it with potato or with pita bread. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a potato-based tadik, which is really delicious and one of our favorites at home. Here I have some potato, which I'm going to cut into thin slices. I'm gonna start off by adding some vegetable oil to the base of my pot. Next, I'm going to layer my potato slices on top. Once you've layered your potato, turn on the fire. Allow the oil to heat before we start layering the rice. Season your potatoes with some salt so that it has some nice flavor. And now that the oil has heated, I'm ready to start layering my rice. It's important to use a flat-based spoon so that you can easily Scoop up the rice and layer it on top of the potato. And as you layer the rice, it's important to layer it into a mold because you want to allow the steam to circulate while we continue cooking the rice. Pull the sides of the rice in so you can form a mold in your pot. And then take the bottom of your spoon and poke three holes. This is a creating a space for the steam to circulate. Finally, I'm gonna combine about one cup of boiling water with a couple of tablespoons of butter and some finely ground saffron. Once the butter has melted, I'm gonna pour this mixture over the rice. I'll gently pour this liquid over the rice. I've covered the pot with a lid, and as you can see, there's a lot of steam buildup in the pot. This is my sign to reduce the heat to a low temperature and cover the lid with a towel. And what this does is the kitchen towel basically acts as a trap to absorb all of the steam that's being created from the rice so that it doesn't go back into the rice and then it makes sure that I have a very nice and fluffy final result. A key trick 
when I'm preparing my rice over a gas hob is I use one of these heat diffusers. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to remove the pots from the heat, place this on top, and I'm gonna let this cook away for 45 minutes on very low heat. Now what's gonna happen is my tadig will have a very beautiful crispy base and my rice will be beautiful and fluffy. It's been 45 minutes since the rice has been down porting, and now it's time to check it out. I'm just gonna turn off the heat and open the lid. And this looks spectacular. All right, so it's very important to be very gentle when you remove the rice. So I'm simply going to pull the rice from the edges and serve it on my platter. The tadik on the bottom of the rice. I can already feel how perfect it looks, but I need to work my way to the bottom slowly. So I'm just gonna serve this beautiful rice. And I'm just going to gently remove the bottom of the pot, which is the tadik part. Look at how perfect that crispy bottom of the rice looks. I promise you, this potato is incredible and it is one of the most sought after parts of my dish. Crispy, golden and perfect. And there you have it, a delicious Persian rice. The rice is buttery, it's fluffy, it's yummy and we've got this gorgeous crispy potato from the bottom of the pot that's a yummy addition to my rice. And here I have some korma sabzi that I'm going to eat with it on the side. For the perfect combination, I'm going to put some of this rice on my plate, add some of this gorgeous korma sabzi on top, and now all that's left is for me to enjoy. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Mmm, mm. so good.